More than one million people now live in camps like this around northeastern Nigeria. They were forced to flee their homes after attacks by rebel group Boko Haram. Many, like Fadamatu, arrive with no money and no possessions. But she's not letting that take away her independence. We are learning this trade so we can help and support our families. The skills acquisition scheme was introduced here a few months ago, and now dozens of women at Damari camp are finding innovative ways to make money. Mother of seven, Aisha Adamu, makes men's caps, which she sells for up to $18 each. Most of us in this camp lost our husbands in the conflict. We have lots of children who have daily needs and no money to take care of them. We depend on the food cooked by the National Emergency Management Agency to feed our children. Overcrowding has meant conditions at many camps are substandard. It's hoped this scheme will provide a sense of normalcy and allow residents to find customers outside the grounds. Uh, if they can have an outlet somewhere, that would be very good uh, so that they can easily take their materials into those outlets and then sell it in wholesome and then come back uh, to the camp uh, so that those outlets will now uh, retail it to the general public. More than 15,000 people have been killed and 2 million displaced by Boko Haram. Many here aren't sure when they'll go home, but they know when they do, they'll be returning with more than just the scars of a deadly conflict.